Sunday morning comes on the campus. Dew kisses the freshly groomed quad grass. And deep within the halls are the fraternity houses. A dazzling natural phenomenon unfolds. In bedrooms from Sigma Nu to Delta Chi, females of the species awake and realize with regret where they have spent the night. Having shed their protective shells, they must grope around in the darkness, careful not to wake their sleeping mates. As the sun climbs over the eastward hills, so do these lost souls climb out of their nests and enter hesitantly into the cavernous hallways. Weak but not proud, the females embark upon nature's most brutal test, the march of shame. Hardships plague the voyage from the start. Their shirts are stained, possibly irreversibly. Their trousers are backwards and unbuttoned. Their panties twisted and misaligned. Many will find that they are missing a shoe or a sock, but will choose to press onward to avoid the double humiliation of a return trip. Their post-coiled legs stiff and buckling, the weary travelers go forth into the frosty autumn air. They are lost and hungry, many of them having turned down an awkward offer to have some eggs, and their faces are smeared with the decorative colors used in their mating dance. But back at the fraternity house, their male mates rejoice, for in nature's cruelest double standard, they face not a march of shame, but a dance of glory. Some will text their conquests, many will not. Yes, Mother Nature is only a harsh mistress for the migrating horde, who must now endure a series of predators that will prey upon their last remains of dignity. The forsaken flock is judged by neighbors, then professors, whose looks speak volumes more than any textbook. The females huddle and gossip to avoid their glares. The danger seems to have passed, but what's this? A group of prospective students launches an assault from the east. I am so going here. The march of shame complete. The females return to their homes. Some will take a scalding hot shower in an attempt to cleanse themselves of sin. Others will call their mothers and lie. The females swear to change their ways, but in this species, self-destructive instincts run deep. Tomorrow night, a new moon will rise, and the march of the March of Shame will march on. Hello? Oh, hey, Kelly. No, I'm definitely coming out. Oh my god, that is so not true. He looks like a werewolf. <laughs>